Welcome to today's video training. I'm Colt Chandler and today's topic is a security officer's guide to five steps of professionalism. Presented by securityofficertraininghq.com Well today I want to cover five basic principles that should always be a part of your mental checklist when working as a security officer. So without further ado, let's get started. Step number one, treat everyone with respect. You know, one of the most important characteristics of a successful professional is treating all workplace personnel with respect. We should always respect our peers, our subordinates, our superiors, and even visiting personnel in order to gain their trust. You can never go wrong by addressing anyone as sir or ma'am. And remember, Respect is always earned, never demanded. Step number two, read your procedures and policies. In our ever-changing profession, the successful security officer is knowledgeable of current policies and procedures and periodically reviews those procedures for revisions. Now there's no way anyone can be expected to memorize all the tasks that you're performing on a daily basis. So do not rely solely on your memory, as it may fail you more often than you think. Step number three, always maintain a professional appearance. A security officer who wears a clean, pressed uniform, who displays high standards of personal grooming and maintains their duty gear and footwear in top condition, commands more respect. Very simple. High standards of your personal appearance may actually speak louder than words or actions when you're dealing with a difficult situation during your shift. If you haven't seen the movie The Town, there's a perfect example that you can use as a reference. The Town stars Ben Affleck, who plays the lead role as the mastermind behind a series of armored truck robberies. And there's a part in the movie when one of his crew members is pressuring him to hit another armored truck. And Ben says, I'm paraphrasing, I don't like the way the guards look on that truck. Then he goes on to explain that just the appearance of the guards on that particular armored truck make him nervous. And he'd much rather take his chances with a different truck with maybe an overweight guard that doesn't take his job so serious. It's a perfect example of the power of your personal appearance. Step number four, report to work as scheduled. And maintaining a good attendance record is every bit as important as maintaining your overall job qualifications. Try to use your scheduled time off wisely by requesting time off in advance. This obviously helps to keep unscheduled overtime to a minimum and lessens the negative impact on your supervisors, your coworkers, and your employer. And step number five, always seek self-improvement. You know, regardless of how long you've been employed in the security profession, we can all improve. Remain aware of your personal skills and seek ways to better those skills and even acquire new skills. There are a number of self-improvement seminars, learning programs, and even online training like this website that are available for you to experience. A security officer who becomes content with his or her skills will soon get left behind. Well, there you have it. Five simple steps to be a professional security officer. That'll do it for now. Thanks for listening and stay feisty and be safe.